A group of students and their director decided to honor those fallen in Newtown with an uplifting concert this evening. It was a performance filled with bright holiday music and donations for the families of the victims. Fox Connecticut's Louisa Moeller joins us live now with more. Louisa. Yeah, Brent and Allison, I went to this concert tonight and I think what the country is feeling along with us is we're just exhausted with grief. So these students and their director did what they could, basically taking their trombone ensemble and doing a concert to try and help us heal, celebrating the fact that the country has come together and will continue to come together in the wake of this tragedy. After the tragedy on Friday, I was uh, thinking, why not bring everybody together and see if we can do something nice for the community that is, you know, suffering right now and it needs to be uplifted. And music has this incredible power to just bring everybody together. In the past, when I was an undergrad here, we would go caroling throughout the community and we would play at the mall or Bishop's Corner, Blueback Square, in the area just to bring cheer to people. After the tragedy on Friday, I was uh, thinking, why not bring everybody together and see if we can do something nice for the community that is, you know, suffering right now. There was an attack on our homeland and that was devastating to me and as a teacher to think of students, you know, being involved in this tragedy is just heart-wrenching. I was thoroughly awed by the amount of response that we had today, that we had so many people from the community, within the university community, and I think it was a testament to how this school can touch so many people's lives just through the power of music. It went off without a hitch, it was great. It was a beautiful concert, and I think that our, my photographer, Brad Reynolds, did a beautiful job with it as well. So, Like so many communities in our little state, the University of Hartford is connected to the Sandy Hook victims. Sandy Hook teacher Rachel Devino was a U-Heart grad, and we're told that the parents of six-year-old Anna Marquez Green met at U-Heart and fell in love. Now, tonight's performance did raise $1,200, and that's for the Sandy Hook School Support Fund. So it, was, it ended up being a good thing in the end. I think everyone just sort of breathed a sigh of relief afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Nice guys. idea. All right. Thank you, Louise.